Morning, everyone. Um, I see there's people standing at the back. There's actually some seats at the front if you want to come on down. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank um, Nick Halliday for letting us use this fantastic venue again. It's the um, third time that we've held the conference here and it's sort of growing in size every year. Four years ago, we held our very first conference in Birmingham and about 20 people turned up. So it's amazing to see so many people here. Um, we had a huge number of people register online. Um, we've got about 170 registered for the live stream that's going out today as well. So um, keep the language clean as it's being broadcast to a worldwide audience. Um, for those people who are watching online, um, we've had in the past that people haven't turned their speakers on, so they sit there in silence for hours and wonder what's going on. So, yeah, there is sound out there. Um, feel free to tweet. Um, I hate those conferences where people just sort of sit there quietly and don't contribute. It's very difficult with so many people to do that vocally, so tweet online and we'll do our best as people are answering questions to get those um, brought forward. So you'll be asking questions from the online audience there. Um, as I said, National Audit Office, fantastic venue, fantastic facilities. I kind of think that we may have outgrown it now. So this could well be the last time that we hold the conference here. So thank you once again, Nick, for not just this year, but for the last three years. And also for the fantastic use of Gov Delivery as a way of increasing their audience, collaborating, getting people using the website here. Um, I guess I'll start off with some of the things that will probably be mentioned, um, maybe shouldn't be. Um, no meeting with government, whether it's central or local government, is ever complete unless you mention at least one, but probably all of these <laughs> different items. So online transactions, digital by default, avoidable contact and channel shift. All of these things are great and you definitely should be doing them. Most of the people in the room have done them, are doing them, and if you aren't doing them, you probably shouldn't be here. You should probably be back in the office doing it now. But fundamentally, one of the problems that government has, central or local government, is they spend a lot of time developing these really fantastic websites with online features and things like that, but don't think enough about getting people using them. You could have the best website in the world, but unless people are using it, you haven't maximised the investment in those channels. And they're really expensive. So get people using them. So if there's one thing that you take away from today, is how the people who are presenting have actually built an audience. They're using that to drive traffic to the website and using that to deliver the shift and the digital by default. <coughs> I won't talk for too much longer because you're here to hear from the interesting people that are going to be presenting about how they're actually using it and doing it. But again, one of the key things I get from here is all of those other things, all of the channel shift and digital by default, can only be achieved by the people in this room. The comms teams across government are probably the most important cogs in that wheel. Unless you do a great job and you engage the audience and get them using the website effectively, it's not really worth anything. So listen, collaborate, ask loads of questions. There'll be plenty of time for questions and networking. Um, enjoy yourself and hopefully you'll take back, I guess, that you are really, really important people. So. I'll stop now. I'll hand over to the important people, as I said. So I think Mark's going to start the year to really get things kicking off.